<sighs> poetry. We'll start with a good one, an old one. Um, November 11th, 2021. Dear, I love you more than anything. Hell, I'd love you more than a comprehensive everything. You build me up with a love a thousand times stronger than I could muster. I love your beautiful eyes. They're like seas. Not the ones of the ocean type, but seas that remind you of a book. Each chapter or section you gaze an hour for just one more look. I love you. I love you till my dying days. I hate the thought of it all becoming just a haze to you. My dear, I hope you live happily. And I hope to see you laughing. I love you. This one's called 80 Hours, but I'm pretty sure that title was put on there for no reason. Also, here's a photo of me as a baby. I'm in the car. It's me in 2007. I've been thinking, as I do, choices, people, morality, loyalty, and what it means, happiness, and what it means. I'm feeling better than I was earlier. For the past few days, I've been thinking. All right. That one came up in conversation. That one wasn't even originally meant to be a poem. I was just speaking and I said that, but all in one line. <laughs> so just made, I made a poem. It works. This one's called Gifted Child. And here's a different photo of me. Up and tight, truly spiffy, it'll be lovely and just a jiffy. Life is quaint, simple and still, lost composure with nothing to fill. Ooh, this is my favorite poem. Eyes like mine. Oh boy, I bet you wish you had eyes like mine. Wonderful rocks of glimmer and shine. Whether seen as gray or green or dark and blue, they shine at nothing like they shine at you. With melodies of arithmetic and scales likened to fish, they grasp and ponder and truly exist. Deepened by thought, dimmed by reality, the sapien's meaning is that of a fallacy. But they glow, a glorious light. They cease to slow, born with the right. By God, I bet you wish you had, I bet you wish you had eyes like me. They see so clearly. What a beautiful scene. Sorry, I get a little dramatic whenever I say that one. You gotta get dramatic, dramatic to say the freaking eye poem. Hello. I like to grab the camera. It's kind of funny to grab the camera and get really close to my microphone. This one's called Feelings. Another dramatic one, of course, is dramatic. It's a poem. It's a poem. It's gotta be dramatic. What do you expect from me? This is me. Of course I'm going to be dramatic. What do feelings mean? I'm losing you, but myself too. It's gone, and you're gone, and I am true. Feelings are futile. Meaning is futile. I know you disagree, but to convince you or me why that's futile. Love to. Hate for the dark sea blue, or is it hate for me and you? My truth can't stop what's coming, and you don't hear my voice. It's okay, really, my love. I wouldn't hear it either. Iron bars of a smart silvery shine. They hold us back, don't they? It used to happen all the time. Freedom was brought, and it sank, like the ground was quicksand. What I wouldn't give to place my hand upon your cheek one last time. I'll love you forevermore, and a thousand years beyond the day when, where it is truly over. My book, my love, my melody, my heart. I wish I was there when it all fell apart. That was hard to read. I haven't read that in a while. The Lost Tale. An old book, left flat in a meadow. The pages, yellow, torn, and faded. Wind passing the flowers and grain. The softest gust of love. That one's called Honeydew. I'm not going to read Honeydew. Not for you guys. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed poems. <laughs> okay, this is all. I say sayonara to you viewers and subscribe.